laddies, and welcome back to a little bit of bit life. My name is Jacksepticeye, but we're looking after our fella Paddy Fitzpatrick here. It's been a while. Paddy's been out working the fields. He's out. What is he doing now? <laughs> a cheerleading megaphone is coming to my. Uh, whatever. My Doberman Pinscher Jackson perished from old age. Oh, yeah. My dog died. <laughs> Wait. He says, I've been wondering if the people who invented blueberry packaging are the same people who design cluster bombs. <laughs> Paddy! Keep those thoughts inside your head. <laughs> the police are going to show up at your door. They're probably not going to do much because you're in Ireland and the police in Ireland don't really have a lot of power to do anything. But that's because we're law-abiding, fun-loving citizens, all right? We just go out, we drink, we eat our spuds, and we're grand. So, Paddy's been working on the fields. Um, his happiness is at an all-time low. Um, it's at zero percent. <laughs> He's not doing great. Paddy's not the happiest a person can be. So we're gonna have to change all of that. I forget what relationships he has. Okay, he's in a relationship with Kira Hughes. Don't look at our exes. If you go down that road, if you start looking up what your exes are doing, you're just gonna make yourself sad and insecure. So let's keep up with what he's doing for his job. He's a farmer. His performance is pretty good. Um, ask for a raise, resign. No, we're not resigning. Work harder. All work, no play. You worked a bunch of overtime in your position as farmer for Denali Valley Acres. I have 90,000 euro. In a little bit, I can go off to the countryside and buy myself a house. And then I'll be happy for the rest of my life. Well, I'll be happy not at all, because right now I'm at 0% happiness. So I need to bring that up. Let's do some activities. What type of activities could you do? Find someone to love? No. <laughs> Threesome? <laughs> Let's jump at the gun there a small bit. I don't know if... Kira? What's what's my girlfriend's name? Yeah, Kira Hughes. I don't think she'd be too happy about that. Um, go to the movies. Work on self improvement. Let's go to the gym. All work and no play it makes Jack a dull boy. It also makes uh, Paddy an old floppy banana. He needs muscle in him. He needs strength. If he's going to be a farmer, he's going to have to lift a bale of hay. Uh, go to your local gym and work out. Yes, it's only twenty euro. My enjoyment was through the roof, and I'm up to eight percent happiness. Let's do another activity. Let's meditate. You practice meditation. I'm up to 12%. I'm getting happier by the second. Turns out there's no hours in the days in bit life. You can just do anything you want forever. Uh, let's go see some comedy. The Jerk Offhand Adventures. Like, the jerk? As in you're jerking it with your left hand? That's your offhand? You're jerking it with your- the stranger? Okay, massive enjoyment out of that, lads. We're up to 20%. I'm still an ugly bastard, but I'm a quarter of the way there. <laughs> I'm a quarter of the way to being the perfect sculpted face that I know I can be. Let's let's go up in age. Car giveaway. While waiting at the bus stop, you run into the BitLife devs. Hi, developers. They keep tweeting out about my videos as well, so hi, thanks for watching, appreciate it. They show you a brand new yellow Ford Fusion with a ribbon on it, and it says it's yours. If you turn on notifications for BitLife, what do you do? I don't want a free car, developers. Okay, stop trying to get me to turn on notifications for your game. I have them all for a reason. I don't want them! <laughs> Even though I just said hi to you, but... <laughs> stop! Uh, my half-sister Faye started junior secondary school. Ah, fair play to you. Why is my happiness down to 4%? Is it because I didn't turn on notifications for your game? We're at $97,000, euros, whatever. Uh, adopt a child. Commit a crime! Should I commit a crime? It's a question I ask myself every day. I wake up in the morning and I'm like, should I, should I do, should I do a crime? Should, should I do crime? Me do crime? Should I do crime? Should I do a crime? A singular crime? None of my friends ever answer me. They just call the police. Uh, memory test. I don't want to do a memory test. My memory's bad. I can't even remember my girlfriend's name half the time in this game. Plastic surgery. Battle your addictions. What am I addicted to? I have four posts on social media. I've been on it for seven years, apparently. And I only have 200 followers. I need to post a status update. They love it! I got four likes! How many followers do I have? I like how social media is one of my assets as well. Um, 245. Okay, I have, to, I have to deal with that properly. Um, car dealer, shop for cars. Oh yeah, I keep forgetting that this isn't hours in a day. I'm growing up in years. Oh, that makes a whole lot of sense. <laughs> I keep thinking every time I go up in age, I'm just passing 24 hours. No wonder I'm getting fuck all done. Um, okay, I have 24% happiness again. 
Uh, what can we do with my girlfriend? Ask for money, birth control, breakup, pay her a compliment. Or make love. Make love down by the fire there, Jack. I'm Patty. I'm not living my life vicariously through my character, I swear. After the delay, you and your girlfriend Kira made love. Both of our enjoyments were quite high. Her enjoyment was higher than mine. Yes! Men only want one thing, and it's delightful. It's making sure that other people are happy. Okay. Oh, I'm 24%. God, you didn't enjoy it that much, did you? My looks are gone down. I had sex, I didn't get much happier, and I got uglier. <laughs> what is going on in my life in this game? Okay, so my happiness is going up. I've meditated, I've gone to the gym, I've gone to the library, but my looks are not improving at all. I think it's time to bust out the big guns. I think it's time that my character got plastic surgery. It's... The game's telling me that I'm not good looking enough to make it in life anymore. I need to- I need the power of plastic and surgeries and a doctor. Um, oh god, what type of one do I want? A facelift. Do you want to look like a clown? <laughs> yes! I want a penis enlargement surgery. <laughs> I never thought about it like that before. Yeah. yeah, get a little penis enlargement. Oh god, which local plastic surgeon will you consult for a penis enlargement? Oh god, somebody's either going to make it a penis enlargement surgery, it's going to be the best penis the world has ever seen, and it's going to be in a museum after I've died, or someone's going to make it look like someone drove over my dick with a dump truck. This could be bad. Dr. Ryan Phillips or Dr. Killian Byrne? K Killian Byrne. Oh god, I, okay. Whew. It's going to cost me th three and a half thousand euro, but that's fine. To have the Golden Dick Awards. Get the surgery. Oh, your penis and nerves surgery was botched by Dr. Killian Byrne. You fucker! You fucking injured you! You damaged my penis! My looks went up though. <laughs> I went up 1% in looks. Maybe my penis wasn't anything to look at in the first place. <laughs> what is this game? My happiness went way down. Can I can I do it again? Just keep getting plastic surgery until you get the penis right. Uh, let's go with Ryan Phillips this time. It costs a little more. You know, it costs about as much. It's about a thousand euro per inch. <laughs> yes! Your penis when the surgery was successful. Your penis is now 2.4 centimeters longer. <laughs> I paid almost 7,000 euro for two and a half centimeters. That is not that much. What are you talking about in girth, though? <laughs> what? Oh! You know how YouTube brought in a new rule recently where it's like you have to mark your videos for kids? This is not one of those videos. Alright, my happiness went a little bit up. My looks did not though. I'm just gonna get <laughs> penis enlargement surgeries until life fixes itself. I can't! Damn it! This is not as big as a penis can get. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, let's get a facelift. Only because it has a clown emoji on it. Uh, I'm going with Ryan Phillips again. I don't want Killian Byrne anywhere near me. Him and his messed up fingers. Okay, it's gonna cost me 13 grand. But you know what? I get to look like a sparkling baby boy clown after this. I can't wait. I can't wait for everyone to be posting my face all over Instagram posts of people who've done something wrong. Your facelift was successful. My looks went up to 43%! <laughs> That's a terrible message, game! Hey, your looks aren't going up. No matter how much you go to the gym, no matter how much you take care of your mind, body, and soul, no matter how much you learn and read, get a job, your finances in check, a girlfriend, satisfy her in bed, does not matter. Surgery is the only way you're getting pretty, bitch. You know what? It's hard to feel offended by the game when I'm at 43%. Alright, let's... Let's see what if I have a conversation with my girlfriend. Let's, well, I'll compliment her. Maybe she'll compliment me on my beautifully new sculpted chisel jaw. You told your girlfriend Kira that you think she's a bubbly personality. Oh, she didn't like that. She didn't like that at all at all. It's not mutual. Oh, lads. Oh, that's not good. And you know what? This, this looks thing? That's a ticking time bomb. I'm at 43% now, but the older I get, the more I'm gonna have to keep up with it, because it's not gonna look good in 10 years. Okay, um... Should- Is the game telling me to get a nose job? No, the game's telling me that I need to do a crime. I'm pretty sure that the game is telling me to do a crime. It keeps telling me to do a crime. I'm gonna do- Do I wanna do a murder? Do I wanna do a Grand Theft Auto? Do I wanna do a raccoon? Or do I wanna do a pickpocket? Let's start small. 
Let's start pickpocketing people first, see if we can get it, see if we can get away with it. At least if we don't get away with it, it's a slap in the wrist. If we start murdering people and I'm bad at getting away with it, which let's face it, I probably am, uh, then it's not going to go down well. I'm going to be in prison very quickly. An old geezer. A Fortnite fanatic. Yeah. Fortniters have buckets of money. Start pickpocketing them. You successfully pickpocketed the Fortnite fanatics. He had 34 euro in his wallet. I thought I was trying to steal V-Bucks. I bet he's a bunch of V-Bucks online. You should have tried to steal those. Okay, let's go up an age. Boomer alert! <laughs> Everyone for boomers! Okay, boomer. <laughs> While at a cafe, you burst into laughter after your friend sent you a meme of the dankest quality. Chef's kiss. Seated beside you, an elderly woman asks you what you find to be so hilarious. After showing her the meme, she looks up at you with a stern gaze and exclaims that people just don't know good comedy anymore. Oh, she's the boomer! Okay, boomer. <laughs> I disregarded a boomer's opinion about a hilarious dank meme. Exactly as you should. Damn boomers, they don't get what us young, hip millennials are all into. Gen Zers rise up, am I right? Yeah. <laughs> okay, boomer. There's no getting away from that. You've been given a raise of 16%. My salary is now 33,460 euro. Hell yeah, lads. Devil a bother on you. All right, Kiri Hughes. Let's spend time with all. Ooh. I didn't know I could do that. Spend time with all of with each of your relationships. Yeah. You spend time with your girlfriend, Kira, your father, and your half-sister, Faye. Your stepfather refused to spend time with you. Yeah, because he's nothing but a good-for-nothing degenerate. He raised me to be the person that I am, but you know what? He doesn't deserve all the credit. Great. Did we spend time with all of them together? Did we all go to the movies? Um, view your heirloom. Cheerleading megaphone. I to sell it? I'm gonna sell my megaphone. I got nine euro for it. Big money, lads. Big money. Big play is here. You're suffering from a staph infection. Is it? Is it weird that I got that right after being at the gym? I knew my shorts were too short. I went in and everyone said they were fine. Some gave me a few weird looks, but I didn't know if it's because my glutes were huge, or if they thought my shorts were too short. But I knew it. If you don't wipe down your your work equipment. Your workout equipment, you're gonna get a staph infection with short shorts. God damn it, I'm gonna have to go to the doctor now to get rid of this. Or... Do a crime? I'll go see a medical doctor. Oh, Dr. Dylan O'Hara or Dr. Bobby Brown. I like Dr. Bobby Brown because I'm a fan of alliteration. Dr. Bobby Brown has determined you are currently suffering from a staph infection. He has outlined the following treatments courtesy of Ireland's free healthcare system. Ireland! Ireland, together standing tall. Yeah, you hear that? Free healthcare system to treat my staph infection. If this was America, that would have cost me $417,000 and my firstborn. You are no longer suffering from a staph infection. As easy as that. You go to the doctor, you get free treatment, and you're done. Boom. Thanks, doctor. You saved my life. But also, now it's time to do a crime. It's crime time. I'm going to burgle a home. I think that that's a good one. Burgling a home is the next step up from picking a pocket. Pockets are just the houses of your pants. Yeah. If I can pick one of those, I can get money off a of Fortnite weirdo, then I can get enough from this. Let's go to construction worker. Yeah. Oh, God. Oh, I have to play a game? Oh, this is bad. Um. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. The dog's trying to get me. Oh, God. Oh, this is scary! Oh fuck, oh fuck, oh fuck! Oh, go, 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 go! Go, get out, get out, get out! Screw the money! The money is not important anymore! Get the cello and get out of there! Oh, that dog was going straight for my beautifully sculpted ass after Dr. Billy O. Ninty put some nice implants in there. You burgled the construction worker's home and stole his teddy bear and his guitar. The pawn shop gave you 326 euro. That's not bad. My happiness went up and I think my looks went up a small bit as well from burgling people. Crime is happy! Jacksepticeye guy is not responsible for anything he says in this video. Please don't take him seriously. It's all just fun and jokes for the game. Please don't, don't, please don't go out and burgle people's homes and pickpocket Fortnite people. Okay, thank you. I need more money. I... I should just play Luigi's Mansion in the game and I'll get a lot of money. Uh, jobs. Browse full-time jobs. What should I be? I don't think I'm qualified for half of this. 
Um, <laughs> but right now I'm a Right now I'm a farmer and that's great. I'm helping out the world. I'm harvesting crops Whatever you eat from on your plate is coming from my hard work But I think I could do more dance director. No trooper. I am a trooper So my mom says you know what I've pickpocketed I've burgled. I think it's time to become a co-pilot I think I think that I am qualified to be a co-pilot all right I'm happy, I'm healthy, I'm pretty. What else do you need to be a pilot? It should be easy. Driscoll Air. Maybe it's for the better. You called to express interest in the co-pilot position of Driscoll Air, but the receptionist answering the phone laughed in your face and then hung up on you. If she had seen what Dr. Hiaharty Narty did to my face, they would not be laughing. They would not laugh at this face because it's a perfectly sculpted, glorious Adonis of a man's face. I want to be a marine biologist. Deny. Okay. Professor. Deny. Okay. Junior financial analyst. You didn't get an interview for the junior financial editor. Okay. Uh, it's not looking good. Electrician. Uh, okay. Mail carrier. Uh, oh! We're getting an interview! Oh, Jesus. I was so used to rejection. I thought that that was the only answer to these things. While being interviewed for the mail carrier position at the city of Shannon, you were asked the following question. Do you prefer to call or text? How will you respond? Text is a digital mail. Is that what they want the answer to be? Is it a trick question? I prefer to talk in person! That's a big ball move! Welcome to the city of Shannon! Yes! We're going up in the world, lads! Oh, this job is great. Should I ask for a raise immediately? <laughs> I like how it says, What activity do you want to do? A lawsuit. Do you want to just sue somebody? Sue someone. Sure, why not? <laughs> Dr. Killian Burn. Ooh, yeah! He fucked up my surgery! Sue the testicles off him! Which law firm would you hire to sue Dr. Killian Burn? Oh, I'm going with someone who's worth 30 grand. Pick your damages. Oh, that's how much I can get? 100,000. <laughs> I'm going for a house. And the only way to get a house in this economy is to sue somebody else and take all their self worth. I'm going with. Davies and Stewart. Just as a serve. You won your lawsuit against Dr. Killian Byrne for botching your penis enlargement surgery. Legal fees 12,000, pay out 100 grand. <laughs> I beat the system! My dick took a beating, but then so did the justice system. <laughs> okay, let's look for a house. <laughs> this is amazing. Uh, Evolution Realtors or Isabel O'Brien Real Estate. I like the sound of evolution. Oh my god. There's a chateau for two million. Oh, I don't have that much money though. Oh, maybe I should go in for more surgery and get it fucked over and then try and buy another one. Economical duplex, acute row house, inviting row house. Oh, I kind of want the Northwest Craftsman home. We're gonna- we're gonna wait a bit. Wait, let's see what Isabel has. Yeah, okay. We're gonna wait a small bit. We're gonna keep working. We're gonna get more. Yes! You and your half-sister Faye are feuding about who ate the last cookie. What will you do? Apologize to her. Be a nice person. Go the extra mile. See, my happiness is at 100% because my conscience is clear. Yes! Your supervisor Samuel said he could give- He could not give you a promotion but could manage to get you a raise. We're up 3.6%. I have 188,000 euro. This is great. I'm gonna spend time with all of my family. Yeah, make sure that they're all taken care of. This is great. Go on social media, post a status update. Got 16 likes. I'm- I'm pretty much a big deal. I'm doing well. I have 324 followers and all 324 of those followers are not liking every single one of my posts! Damn algorithms. I'm 50% in looks though! I'm halfway! I'm halfway to being a sexy beast! I'm gonna go up in age though. I'm waiting to get that money. Um... What else can we do? Join the military, part-time jobs. No. Uh, no, 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 no. I don't want to resign. No. Let's just, let's just go up one more age. A stepping stone. You've been promoted to senior mail carrier. 198 grand. Let's do it. Let's do it, gamers. Let's get ourselves a house. Why am I so into this? I, I really feel like I'm living out this character's life right now. Um. Ooh, modern contemporary home for even less. Don't mind if I diddly do! Buy it with cash. Should I buy it with cash? Should I do that? Should I do the big play? Don't need a mortgage, don't need to keep paying it off, just... BOOM! 
Go in with a gigantic wad of notes. Buy it with cash. You are now the owner of the modern contemporary home. Dreams do come true. I'm almost broke, but it's my home. I don't have to pay rent. I do have to pay, uh, electricity, internet, water bills, any problems that happen in the house I kind of have to fix it myself. Now I don't have a landlord. When I moved into my own house here in real life, the first thing that happened was that I got a leak in my roof and then I had to pay to get it fixed and it cost a lot of money. <laughs> Owning a home is great. <laughs> I've made a terrible mistake. Now I can get a pet. I can do it. Shop for pets. What kind of pet do I want? See, now Evelyn has moved in here in real life, so her cat now lives here. So in real life, now I have a pet cat. Well, it's, it's her pet cat, but now it, it lives with me too. So technically it's my pet cat as well, and it's amazing. I thought I was allergic to cats, apparently I'm not anymore, because I haven't had a single issue with him around at all anymore. Hooray! Maybe my body was lying to me before, or maybe I just never had anything at all, or maybe I got over it. I have no idea. But now there's a little cat running around the house, and it's adorable. It's so nice. He's the best little cat ever. And I, every time I go, I leave the room, I'm like, where is he? I hope he's okay. I hope he's having fun. Is he fed? Is he nice and warm? And then he comes over, and I pet him, and I hug him and kiss him. It's amazing. Uh, let's go to the animal shelter. Oh, I can get a savanna cat, a tabby cat, uh, a rabbit. Don't you have anything like a, like a, like a... Komodo dragon, or like a, like an alligator. I kind of want the savanna cat. Oh, it's 12 year old cat. Mm. I'll take you in, little buddy. Oh, you're not the smartest cat. You don't have a bunch of, a bunch of craziness, though, but you're happy and you're healthy. I'm gonna adopt you. I'm gonna adopt you. There we go. We have a cat. Yay. She costs 155 euro. See, it's nice. Go to shelter, get a little cat, and now you can raise it. Well, not raise it, it's already raised, but now you can keep them nice in the last years of their life. It's going to be amazing. I'm going to give my girlfriend a gift as well, because I'm nice. Uh, a jar of mouthwash. <laughs> a bouquet of tulips. A bottle of rum. A vase of orchids. I like tulips. Tulips are nice. Cheap, medium appreciated. It's fine, we're not having troubles at all. It's not just because I suddenly bought a house and a cat and spent all my money. And she didn't move in with me. It's fine. Neve Morgan. Well, well, well. Even though you have a girlfriend, your ex-girlfriend Neve wants to get back together with you. She tells you that she can't eat a cob of corn without thinking of you. What'll you do? I will go to her house. <laughs> Ridicule her. <laughs> She's going to her house <laughs> naked with a, a cob of corn in my in my mouth, just going. No! <laughs> uh, file a restraining order. Jesus, no. Politely reject her. Be a nice person. Okay. Okay. Big plays. Big moves. Gonna propose to the girlfriend. Last one, I did it to. She rejected me. Wait, was that Neve who rejected me last time? When I proposed? Whatever, propose. I can't look. I can't look. What happened? Is it good? Do I hear wedding bells already? She said yes! Yeah! Your girlfriend Kira accepted your marriage proposal. I'm getting married in the morning! Or, not in the morning, some morning. Just not yet, because it takes a lot of planning. Okay, gamers, I'm gonna leave this here. This is some good lessons in life. Commit crime, get plastic surgery, spend all your money on a house, get a pet, propose to your significant other, and apparently life works out. <laughs> My looks are at 50% still. That's good. So I'm gonna leave it up to you guys for next time. Should I get more plastic surgery? What should I do? How should I live my life? Things are going a little too nicely for me right now. Should I keep doing things nicely? Or should I try and go for the, the life of adventure and mystery and intrigue and do a lot of dumb shit? It's up to you. Let me know down in the comments below. Also, don't forget to leave a like on the video if you enjoyed it. And also, don't forget to subscribe because we upload videos every day. This is really annoying. I'm sorry if that turned you off at already. Just please consider subscribing. It's whatever. You don't have to if you don't want to. Anyway, goodbye. <laughs>